over the edge Feel like I'm floating through the air CEO was popping to all my Aboriginal Indigenous Nijis from right here in Turtle Island. What's popping, y'all? I ain't gonna make this video too long. I'm gonna just get right to the point. There's a question that I must ask my individuals because I feel like we still stuck in this little cycle that we can't see. It's not really meant for us. I must ask to the black man to the black woman to the african-american man to the african-american woman why are we still putting our energy in celebrating certain holy days holidays that are mainly built around murder and of murder of our own people the ratification of our own people we're so blinded by the fact that we think that Thanksgiving is for us that we have yet to really go beyond and above to really kind of figure out where this came from, where this where this massacre started. I cannot sit here and just steady not say nothing while I see my people out here putting Thanksgiving pictures up, while people out here celebrating a holy day a horrifying day that was built around killing your ancestors. I don't understand that. Someone help me understand that. Are we so indoctrinated that we are so far from our history that we don't even care to even look back to see what really happened? Because this totalitarian plan that they got put in place, oh, it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely in motion. Next thing you know, people finna go out tomorrow, Black Friday, spend all their savings, spend all, put themselves in mode debt just to keep up with the Joneses. Not only that, not understanding that Black Friday came from certain individuals selling off family members for the lowest price that they can sell them for. And to be enslaved and work for the rest of their life. Y'all, we got to understand something. And that understanding comes from the knowledge that we desire to obtain. We can't continue to give our energy to these days that are not meant for us. I ain't going to say too much. I ain't going to preach too much. Thanksgiving is not meant for melanin, procreotic, Nijis, aboriginals to celebrate. It's literally the biggest massacre, one of the biggest massacres that happened here on Turtle Island. It was the start of the saga. It started here. We offered the humble hand and they came back and hit us with the iron fist. If it wasn't from the smallpox that they were giving our people, which our people couldn't really withstand because we never even knew what it was because that wasn't a thing until the Western man, the, the European culture came over here. We didn't have to worry about that. So if it wasn't from the smallpox killing us, it was from these individuals, our wording, our women and children, murdering the men, enslaving our women and children, and taking over, essentially, our true freedom, indoctrinating us in a way that we can't really go back. We have fell so far under the spectrum that we started to believe they religion that was given to us. Y'all got to understand me. And I understand that some of y'all might be like, yes, today is a day to be thankful. You can be thankful every other day. You don't got to be thankful on, on these three days. Because we... We do know that slavery kind of was combined with this little with this little pilgrimage thing. And how for three days they murdered over 400 people. And if they couldn't murder them, they did very nefarious things to these individuals. Things that are 
not worth expounding on. What I'm trying to say is, y'all, just take a little step back and just kind of Google where it all started. When they say we didn't land, they didn't, we didn't land on Plymouth Rock, Plymouth Rock landed on us. Understand that it's some, it's a bigger meaning behind what they saying by that. It's literally a part of the black agenda. So is any of this organized, doctrinated religion. Everything is systematically put in place to keep you from knowing the true you. It's up to you to dig deep to want to find out the true you. But it's also up to you to want to be blind and just celebrate the things that are essentially against you. But I ain't going to do too much. I appreciate y'all. I function with y'all. I know a whole bunch of y'all probably out there eating collard greens and and and, and steakums. And you out there eating your little uh, yams with the, you dig, with the, with the turkey. That's all, that's all, you know, good or whatever. But just understand that behind every single mass holiday that has been placed in Niji Island on Turtle Island it didn't come with flowers and roses it came with a cost and it was usually the cost of you sacrificing you and the people you love so I ain't gonna do too much I ain't gonna say too much I appreciate y'all I am who I am and who I am not I never pretend to be I gotta do what the shirt say y'all see what it say fight fear it say, if you can dream it, you can do it. We fight fear every day. Fear is false evidence appearing real. We stepping outside of this confinement space that we're in, and we're going to take it beyond the realm, beyond the firmament. We think it's so far beyond. Infinity and beyond. I am him, and he is me, and who I am not, I never pretend to be. I function with y'all. And from this video, I hope you take the knowledge that you will learn and apply it to your to your lifestyle in some in some kind of way to where now it could be used as wisdom and given off as wisdom. So I function with y'all. I appreciate y'all. I see y'all when I see y'all. Be breezy that way. That part.